Hey, Rome, it's Len Bestoff from NBC Connecticut with this news update. But first, let's start with the fun stuff. What am I watching on TV? The Olympics right now. Come on, I work for these guys. Sports team of the week, USA men's and women's gymnastics. Uh, both are kicking butt and they're fun to watch. And food dish of the week, anything with bang bang sauce. I don't know if you ever went to, I can't remember the name of this place, some kind of seafood restaurant I used to go to in Florida all the time. It's a chain. And my wife made something last night with bang bang sauce and it was so good. I forgot how good it was. It's like, I can't describe the taste, but just look up bang bang sauce. It's fabulous. But anyway, let's get to the news. A man who used to be a swim coach in Connecticut has been arrested and charged with voyeurism according to U.S. Marshals. Marshals and Newington police arrested 41-year-old David Laudati. He was reportedly wanted in Arizona for voyeurism charges. Before the investigation, Marshall said that Laudati was a swim coach in Arizona and had previously been a swim coach right here in Connecticut. A crash involving a state police cruiser along Interstate 95 in Westport over the weekend is leading to frustration from state officials. State police have charged a Bronx man with failure move over for an emergency vehicle and following a vehicle too closely. This crash marked more than 90 crashes this year involving state police troopers or their cruisers, including the death of Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier on I-84 in May. And make sure you catch our latest NBC Connecticut Investigate series talking about a lot of reckless driving. It's called Reckless on Our Roads, and the latest installment is going to have to do with motorcycle deaths and the spike that we've been seeing year to date in 2024. It's gonna be a really interesting story and it's gonna be going up online and on our app this week. A Bristol bakery known for its support of social justice is now closed. Saturday was the last day it was open after getting a wave of customer support earlier this year. The doors are now closed at what was called Bakery on Maple in Bristol. For three years, the bakery was known for its support of social justice and its pride flag out in front of its store. The owner says the overhead costs just became too much. And it may have seemed like a swarm of locusts in the end of the world on Rhode Island this, this past weekend, but it wasn't. It was actually dragonflies. There was this massive swarm that took over Musquamacut Beach. The dragonflies were suddenly everywhere, frightening many people on the beach. The weird thing is that the insects were silent. So I've seen this video and it does look strange. There's no, no noise except people screaming. <laughs> the whole encounter lasted about just three minutes. And just like that, the dragonflies were gone. I was in Rhode Island just the weekend before and there were a lot of dragonflies, but definitely not that many. Hey Rome, I hope you feel better and we'll see you next week on our next Tuesday News Day. Len Bestov, NBC, Connecticut.